I made a video earlier today about making up your own distress oxide type effect uh, product. So I'm going to use that now to do a card front. I've got watercolour card here because I want to splash it with water and I know that the other card that I've got tends to warp and go rather yucky if I do that. So I've got my products here. I'm actually going to use the shimmer paints here from Jacquard and then I'm going to use some of these watercolours and uh, these are I think it was Royal Talons yeah Royal Talons you don't need expensive watercolours for this it just happens to be what I've got I have a blue I have a purple and I have a raspberry pink now I know it doesn't look raspberry pink on there but it does when it comes out of the tube so because I don't need very much of this, what I'm going to do is use a damp stamp pad. So blending tool, whatever you like, blending tool is it. And I'm going to apply the paint directly on there. So I figure the way of doing this is to make sure I get a streak, a good half more or less, I guess, with that. And then a tiny drop of this. Literally just one drop. I'm not gonna go through a lot here. Then I can smoosh it around a bit on my tile to mix it. And then I can apply it to my card randomly. In this particular case there's no rhyme or reason to this, I'm just going for random. Once I've done that, pop it in my water so it doesn't wreck the sponge. So the blue one is going to be next. And these are clean, they're just stained, okay. And again, oops, that one doesn't seem to want to stay on there. Hang on. Hmm. It doesn't really want to stay there, is it? But it will, I expect, for a short period of time. So again, about a half... Mm, I don't think that one's going to stay. Ah, you nearly fell on my card. Okay, let me get another one. For some reason, that one did not want to stay on the holder. So, get a fresh one. I'm going to spritz that with water because it's completely dry. I don't want it completely dry, I do want it a little bit moist. Right, so about half of this. And for this one I'm using pearlescent turquoise. Again, just a little drop. I don't want very much, just to do one little car front. Squish it around on here. This one is a little wetter because of the water that I added. And yep. Oh, that one can go in there. You get the idea by now. The last one is the purple. This is a very, very strong colour. So keep it down to a minimum, otherwise, it will completely drown out everything else. And again, a drop of the purple. I think this one is a dual tone one. It's halo violet gold, so there's a touch of gold in this one as well. And there we are, just a tiniest little bit. Do the old smoosh and go in where there are gaps.
So that's our background pretty much done. All I've got to do now is do the old splish splash with some water. So you just want a little bit of texture in it. It's not supposed to be doing anything else. So let it sit and do its stuff. Now that the card's had a chance to dry, I've put it on a base card. And as you can see, you've got quite a watercolour look going on there. Now that's because the ink was relatively wet, or the paints were relatively wet. Um, the dry version of it looks much more like the normal sort of um, distress inks in that it's a drier texture and you don't see watermarks. That's a nice effect. This one I did, but the colours, to me, they were, yeah, I just don't like the colours that much. They will still work for the design I have in mind, but I prefer that. So this panel is going to go on the front of this card and I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. Now this is cut from a iridescent glitter card that my friend Alison gave me. Thank you, Alison. Um, and it has different shades of glitter in it. It's like pink and green and blue and things. So it's very subtle, but it's got a lot of different color in it and a lot of shimmer. And you probably can't see it on camera, but this is shimmery too, because I use those shimmery paints. Not heavily shimmer because only a light touch was used, but definitely shimmery. So what I need to do now is to actually put some glue on the back of this. On it goes. And what I generally do is lay it face down. It's actually slightly oversized on that card. Obviously the cardstock I picked up wasn't a standard size, but never mind, it doesn't matter. But what I would normally do is turn it upside down and put something weighty like a tile on the back of it and let it dry for a half an hour. So here's my card, all stuck down, all very nice. And I know I haven't put a sentiment on it yet. Um, but as I've said before, quite often I don't know what occasion I'm going to send a card for. And this one is something you could use for all sorts of occasions. It's not strictly birthday or anything. Now, because I don't like to waste anything, I did actually make up the other card and this one I've done with a shiny silver glitter card. Now, well, it comes out on camera. But whereas this one is a white, rather like the snow glitter that you get, only it's got iridescent bits, and this is pure out and out bling silver. And I actually do quite like it, much to my surprise. I just have a particular preference for these colours over those colours, but you know, that's just me. You could have them up either way. Now, for some reason, I'm thinking this one should have a sentiment which says, find your inner joy. It just seems to suggest joyfulness and happiness and lightness of heart. I don't know why. And with this one, this one's a little more psychedelic. And I'm not quite sure what sentiment I put on, but it's, it would be fine as a thank you card or as a hello note or a happy birthday or anything really. So there we are. Those are the things that I've made with the inks that I was doing earlier. And I hope you like them. Take care.